chapter as sulh reconciliation slash compromise as sulh a contract that results in stopping two conflicting parties from fighting it is of many categories and relates to all financial and other types of rights additionally an islah reconciliation is prevented in one case which is when it becomes clear to the judge that one of the parties is right the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said in a meaning of which a sulh reconciling between Muslims is permissible except when it makes something permissible prohibited or something prohibited permissible. Named by Abu Dawood and Atirmidhi, and the latter called it Hassan Sahih and Al Hakim graded to be Sahih, authentic. One, therefore, if one comes to a compromise while with the other regarding a commodity for another commodity or debt, then it is permissible. Two, if one of them owes the other something and they come to a mutual compromise where another commodity or something as death is given, which is taken into possession before parting, then it is permissible. Three, if one comes to a form of agreement with the other on a known benefit in his real estate, etc. Four, if they compromise over a debt to be paid back later by paying some of it now. Five, if one party is owed something, but both parties are unaware of the exact amount that is owed. So they come to an agreement upon something when it is valid. The Prophet ﷺ said in the meaning of which, a neighbor should indeed not prevent his neighbor from fixing a wood beam in his wall. Narrated by Imam al-Bukhari.